Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a picture for you in the ink house by Rory Dobner. And I've decided that we're going to do the second page on this one. So we're doing Nigel the Owl. Um, a Nigel, however, does not give a hoot. <laughs> He's off to his night shift anyway, is what it says above him. This is towards the end of the book where um, the owner is coming back and everybody's getting ready to leave. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, do him, of course, in ink tents and distress ink in this book. And I am going to put the camera down, get you a better angle so you can see what I'm doing. So I will see you in just a little bit. Okay, here we go. I've got my pencils taken out and then my inks, my ink of choice in the Distress Inks are Gathered Twigs, Vintage Photo, and Scattered Straw. I want to give the same kind of background colors as on the opposite page because one, they go confusedly together. Two is because I did get some of it already on the page from when I did the other one and I just want to blend it up towards the um, watches up that are up on the top of the page. The, um, Pencils I've taken out for the ink tents go with a charcoal gray, a willow, a sea blue, a tan, a sienna gold, a saddle brown, Shiraz, and a burnt orange. I will leave all these down below and tell you the names while I'm doing it. So we're going to go ahead and do our little owl here. And I'm going to be um, doing both pencil on and, of course, using the little plastic sheet that I use, too. And I will be using the uh, Arteza water brush pen for this. It's the uh, one with the very fine tip on it. So we're going to go ahead and start with him. Now I want to give him um, brown shoes, kind of red socks. The umbrella and the hat are going to be done in the blues. The watches are all going to be in different colors also. So I'll go ahead and get out the blue, and that is sea blue. And I'm just going to kind of shade in some of this umbrella. And then up here in his hat. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. The reason I want to give him red socks is just because he looks like a dapper little dude, and I think red socks are going to be cute. <laughs> and they're kind of burgundy striped. He'll go nicely with his brown shoes. Okay, so we're going to use a little of the um, willow. And because we have light coming down, I'm going to get some of the Sienna Gold in here. Just to brighten up the top of the shoes. Okay. And we will activate that. Double check to make sure I got enough water coming out of here. I'm do the blue on the umbrella first. And then up here in his hat. A bright blue but it will dry a little um, lighter. Sorry I'm still not um, completely well and my voice does go in and out but I will try to get through this. Okay now we're gonna work on his little um, shoes here. Let me just blend that 
two colors together. And I'm going to give it that a wipe off. And I'm going to work on his little sock here too. And he's got these little straps that come up. I know they have a name. I just can't, for the life of me, remember what it is right now. Okay. And now this shoe will wear on this side. going to use a little of that um, sienna gold on his beak too. Let's just get that activated. He's cute. I like him. We're going to get some of the browns going in his um, feathers here. Just have to find the saddle brown here. I'm going to put that down here in his back feathers and in the shadowing areas. I'm just using the side of the um, brush here to drag down some of that color. We're going to throw a few colors in on him so he won't be all one shade. Okay, we're going to put in a little, um, trying to find the willow, more tan. I'm going to put it on the um, board here and pull some of that in. So how are you all doing? Did you have a lovely weekend? Well, I hope that everybody in California is doing well. The earthquakes down there. Don't much care for earthquakes myself. This is the willow I'm putting in. And then I'll throw some saddle brown on here too. So I'll have my three shades of brown.
My weather here has been trying to figure out what it's doing for the summer. <laughs> we'll get some days that are up in temperature and then it'll drop and rain, which is normal for around here. Then August we'll just get hit with a big heat wave. Okay, we're going to let that dry. I have just a little bit of cream in him also, but I have to make that with white, and I don't have that out right now. And we'll be doing his eye probably in kind of a gold color. And I have to let him dry in order to do that. So we're going to move on to a watch. I'm going to do this top watch up here. So we're going to tilt the book a little bit. So you can see that. And I'm going to do it in um, gray. So I got the charcoal gray out. And I'm going to put that on the um, plastic sheet here. Because I'm going to have to get it really wet. I want to kind of do a silver watch up here. He is really wet. I'm going to have to put something on him. So I don't touch him. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to squeeze out a bit of water on this and get it a really light gray and I might add some white in there too but for right now we're just gonna put the gray down We'll put some of the Sienna Gold over here. I thought that was a nice color, and we're going to do this watch here in that color. So we'll get that nice and wet, and just add in some of that. Okay, I'm going to go in with the brown and kind of turn it a more of a gold color. So this is Willow. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other watch on this side, too. Just make this one a little darker. I'm kind of mixing the um, willow in with the sienna gold. So 
And then we're gonna go in with the Saddle Brown. And darken this one. And then we'll go in with pencil on all three of those and add um, some like glass effects to it and darken up some of the corners, add a little orange in there too. So we'll go back to his, oh, it's still a little damp, but go to his eye and we're going to put some of the sienna gold in there. Go in with the saddle brown and mix that with the willow and get a nice little color to darken it up on the corners and let those blend together. I keep hitting something on that side of the desk. Sorry about that. I'm also going to darken right under his eye with some of the saddle brown. And then some of this gray, I'm going to mix with the saddle brown and go in just in the darkest spots here. Just a little more definition. Okay, now down on uh, the area here, we're going to get out the yeah, scattered straw. I'm going to put that on a, um, well, maybe I just do it with the ink pad on it. Hold on a second while I get my stuff out. Okay, so I just have a um, pad on the Tim Holtz mini blending tool, and I'm going to ink up one corner of that and just kind of come down here under his feet where we need a shadow and just kind of blend it out a little bit. some of that down into this area too. Okay, we will be adding a little of this going up also, but I want to, um, well, maybe I could do that now. So the two colors I'm going to be using are the um, gathered straw you just saw me use and, um, I'm sorry, scattered straw for the yellowish color and gathered twigs <laughs> for the brown color. And I'm just going to kind of bring it up into the watches like I have done on other pages. So we'll start over here where I had made a mess on the other side and just bring some of this yellow up behind his feathers. Make him stand out just a bit more, especially around the blues. And then we're just going to bring it right up here into the watches. Kind of a zigzag shape. And we'll get some here in front of him also. 
just so he doesn't look like he's floating in midair. <laughs> okay, then we'll bring some up here. And on this page, I don't mind if it's blotchy at all because we'll be adding a little water to it and a couple of um, stamps to match the other side. So just blend that right into the shoe and down in here. Now I'm going to get a different um, pad here with a brown, brown one. Where's the brown one? Oh, that'll work. Square one this time. We're going to go in with brown. And we're just kind of adding it here and there. Oops, I should probably get this back up so you can see what I'm doing. So we'll add in some down here. Round his head again. Up into the um, watch area. And yeah, it's a big blob there, but like I said, it's okay. I've contented myself with making little mistakes all the time. <laughs> all right, one. We can get that cleared up with a little bit of water here. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll clear it up a little bit. Along with this one up on the watch area. And we have the stamp that we can use to, um, sorry, my daughter's caught my cold. <laughs> the stamp to also help that out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, before I stamp anything, get my water bottle headed out for the cat the other day. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to spray this and wipe it up, like we do on all the other pages. So, a little water spray, and it's for the Distress Ink, it doesn't matter if it gets on the uh, ink tents, it won't do anything for it, or take anything away, so get it all over here. Just lift some of that up, give it a nice speckled look, especially down here. The longer you let it sit, the more it'll lift up. So like this little area here, I'm just going to get that really wet, let the water sit on it for a little bit. One, it'll help that little line there, but it'll also lift up a bunch of that color that I had there. All right, we'll do a little bit here. See if we can lift a little more of that up. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Now what we're gonna use is the little stamp I have. And this is called, um, this one's always hard to do. Itty Bitty Background Stamp from Stamping Up. It's 1997. It comes in a set of four. This is the teeny one. And I like it a lot. So we're going to start with this area here that I put a line in. And we're just going to take our little stamp and add some dots in these areas. And that's going to be a blurry dot because it's too wet there. Should have waited a little bit, but that's okay. Boom. Add a little here. I'll let that dry and we'll come back to that. And I'm going to get out some pencils. And I have, um, I have a couple here on my desk, so I will just use what I have here. Okay, we have some blister. It's a poly chromal pen, so and we're just going to darken up some of these areas here, bring it into the lighter areas so they're not white. It's a nice soft shade.
Okay, what I really need to do is let this dry, so I will be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back and I've got um, some polychromos out. I've got a black, a raw umber, a walnut brown, and a burnt umber. And I'm going to use these just to add some um, depth to these items that I have here. So I'm going to start with Nigel here and give him a little bit um, darker coloring in his shadow areas. This is the walnut and we're just going to add it in on the back side of everything kind of. Under the brim of his hat. Under his beak. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the burnt umber. Add that in in some areas. kind of going in the same areas that I did before just to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to do the same with the black too. So um, this is the raw umber. Just add a little more brown tone in the light areas. It's kind of got a yellow hue to it. A real light touch here. Just kind of covering areas that I don't want pure white. After all, he is an owl. Okay, now a little of the black is going to come in. And where he's got really dark shadows, I'm just going to go over those areas. His leg comes up this way. There should be probably a little shadowing going on where his strap comes up. A little more shadowing under the umbrella. And we're also shading his shoes a little bit, get them a little darker here. Okay. Now we'll go to work up here on the watch, the silver one. We're going to put the black as a shadow back here. Just kind of go over the light yellow that's in here that I got when I inked up here. 
just to soften it up so it doesn't look too yellow. Okay, then we're going to use the um, browns to darken up the um, gold watches too. So this is the walnut. Put it on the most shadowed part here. And then we will pick up the burnt umber. And then we'll bring in a, um, I don't know if we have a burnt orange in here or not. Probably do, I just don't have <laughs> time to look. This is um, cadmium orange. So I'm going to add some of that in there to brighten it up a little. I'll probably bring in a little yellow too. So what do we have? Cadmium yellow, why not? To brighten this up just a bit. Okay, looks a little more goldy. <laughs> so we'll go work on the other one. Brighten it up a little bit, same colors. Bring in the walnut brown in the back here. Where the most shadows would be. And just a light touch of it. Going with the orange. And then the yellow. back in with the walnut brown. I'm going to use the umber just to darken it up a little bit. I forgot to do the um, little ties here. I was going to do those in the blue. So I'll just take the ink tents and add some of that blue in here on both of them. And then use the water brush to bring that up. Okay. Now on the um, watch caps themselves, I'm going to put a little of the black. I'll do this one if we can get this one in camera. Right around in this area, very lightly, down here. Then I'm going to kind of rub it in with my finger. Then it blends pretty well. If you do it light enough, 
a little bit more in here. And the reason for doing it like this is I want to get that black kind of smudged in there. So when I take an eraser and a flat edge, cute little tool that Kenny has given me, take it right there. Just going to erase an area here. And if I got enough of that down, you can see just a hint of the, um, put it on that one again so I can get it just a little bit more up there. A glow going on. So I don't know if you can see that really well, but then you get kind of the light hitting it. And another little one right there. A little one there. Sorry about scraping the paper. But I'm going to do that on all of them. I could probably use a graphite pencil, but yeah, we can work with this. So just really, really lightly. Both the top and the bottom. and then blend it in. And we'll do that again. Put a little on the um, plastic board there too. Okay, then we'll get out the little tool here and do it again. Try to keep them all at the same angle. And then we have our the lines through there. <laughs> and like I said, I'll do that on all of them. So I have one more to go. And a messy desk. <laughs> and what did I do with the black one? Last one here. This is just the way I do it, probably an easier way to do it than this, but I have fun playing with my pencils. <laughs> I get it all over my finger and everything, but it's, it's fun. Okay, one more time with the eraser and my little thingy. And I just have these, and you think it'd be easier for me to refine them. There we go. Okay. Needs to be just a bit darker there. Just a little bit of the walnut brown. I might even put a little white splatter on this page. I'm not sure. But I do want to darken it down here. So we're going to take a little of the um, 
Hold on a second. Okay, this is just a piece of card stock that I'm going to lay down under here. I have the vintage photo with the round distress tool. I'm going to ink that up the whole pad this time. And then I'm going to work off the paper first. Let's see if we can get it up high enough here. Okay, on this paper first. Try to get out as much ink as possible and then just come up to the other paper leaving it mostly on the white down here tilting the ink so it touches the lip first and then just brushes up some ink onto the paper but you notice I'm putting a great big line here because I'm not going into or using it just on this side I'm just using it on the edge and I'm just going to go up to there. Keeping this area down here a darker look. So I'm going to pull the paper away. That's kind of a neat effect. If you don't like the little spot we got up here, like I said, we have a little paintbrush we can use to get rid of that. We have a stamp we can use to add to that. Just put a little dots in there, if we can get this to work. There. <laughs> add some dots down here. Can add another one up there. Put them over here by his hat. Boom. There we go. Going to put a little dot on his eye so it stands out a little bit more. little tiny dots and that'll be it so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video if you like these kind of videos please give me a thumbs up it helps me out a lot subscribe if you haven't already if you have thank you so much I really appreciate it and if you want notifications you can ring that little bell and see if it works <laughs> sometimes it doesn't uh, so take care, everybody, and I hope you have a great day. Bye now.